horrific 668 rhinos were killed in our country last year, and many of us had hoped that we might be able to turn the tide against the ever-increasing rhino poaching numbers in 2013. This is already looking less and less likely. Mark Boucher and SAB have come together to stand against rhino poaching. Let's take a look. Hoodsprayed, a small town in the south of the Limpopo province of South Africa. Only four and a half hours drive from Johannesburg and a scenic 30 minutes from the Kruger National Park in the heart of the Lowfeld Bushveld. So Castle Lager is really a brand that taps into the psyche of, of our nation, South Africa. We've been around for 118 years. We sponsor the Springboks, the Proteus and Bafana Bafana. And this for us is about South Africa rallying to protect our rhino. 90% of the world's rhinos are in South Africa and we have to take action now. Since the start of the poaching epidemic in 2008, South Africa has lost over 2,000 rhinos. The figures are soaring despite the much needed effort by so many good people. It's imperative that the, that the people try and the owners try and keep as close a tag as possible on their rhinos. There are infiltrations on these game farms all the time, so in order to protect them, you've got to know where they are. While we're actually looking for a rhino, uh, we managed to stumble across a, a carcass um, and pretty fresh at, at that. It's quite an emotional and sad sort of feeling. You know, you, you're trying to save rhinos and we yeah for that, um, darting them and, and giving them a better opportunity to survive in, in nature. Uh, and then you stumble across one that, that is actually dead. So, yeah, there's uh, mixed emotions for me today. Simon and, his, and his, his team on this reserve live their lives trying to protect these animals. And we do all we can from the scientific side and the veterinary side, but yet these guys are not going to stop. It's sad to stand here and actually experience this and see such a magnificent animal lying dead here, uh, probably killed for his own. It's very, very sad. Huh? Working with these animals every day, protecting these animals, going out at night, endless, spending endless time just protecting them and then finding something like this, it's heartbreaking, you know. You know, SAB and myself, we decided to join together and, and do this whole thing and we're very committed to the whole cause. So essentially Castle Lager and SAB have established the SAB Boucher Foundation, which is represented by Mark. And the In Safe Hands is obviously based on his wicket-keeping skills. And so the rhinos are in really safe hands with Mark Boucher behind them. The non-profit company aims to raise enough money to register all of South Africa's 21,000 rhinos on a rhino DNA database. So we think that the best we can do is invest in one common element which all parties agree is essential, which is a basic management system for the rhino population. And at the heart of that is a DNA database which assists in identifying each of the animals in a unique manner. It can't be forged. And the police use that to strengthen their docket cases, etc. But also over time, it might assist farmers who may want to share the rhino population. They can do that in an honest and a transparent manner. The main reason I was to identify these rhinos and get as much data from them. Firstly, by ear notching them, which enables the, the, the field rangers, when looking for the animals or tracking the animals, to actually identify them at a distance. Secondly, was to, to microchip this rhino. We put a microchip behind the ear because were this rhino to be poached, the ears get tuned off. So you, you might not have any ear notches left. So the only way you can identify that rhino is by this microchip. And the third aim was to take DNA samples from this rhino. You can have the, the DNA sequencing of a particular rhino on a particular game farm and tie it to, to these horns that were found at our time by airport. It just makes your case more watertight. The more people we expose to this, live, the more passionate they become. You know, when you look at guys like Jacques Callas, who came on his first rhino capture today, he's absolutely passionate about this already. And I think I've been converted today. Uh, I think I'm one of the fortunate few that, that have been on, on one of these adventures. Um, you know, it certainly is life-changing. And... It's hugely rewarding on a personal level. We're all worried about the rhino, but not often do we get a chance to actually make a personal difference. You know, it's the same sort of feeling as, as if I've scored runs or, or or taken catches um, when, I, when I see a rhino get up, uh, knowing that it's, it's, it's been um, tagged uh, and it's, it's been given a, a better opportunity to survive in nature. 
SAB has a proud record of supporting conservation of South Africa's rhinos through its environmental protection initiative started in 2004. Since then, 77 rhinos have been microchipped and placed on the database. So we believe that uh, this is the starting point, is to get 21,000 rhino onto a database and then we can start uh, moving with other um, initiatives to, to start making rhinos safer. So we're behind this for the long term and hopefully you know, we'll, we'll keep growing this to an extent that we eradicate the poachers in this country. You need to give help to those who can't help themselves and rhino can't help itself at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I know, I know that I've got to work even harder and, and come here and, and, you know, get my hands dirty even more. Um, and, and I'm prepared and willing to do that.